Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review a movie that we saw at the Buffalo Dreams Fantastic Film Festival, Tonight She Comes. Everyone else will die. Written and directed by Matt Stewart, starring Jenna McDonald and Adam Hartley, Tonight She Comes is about a girl who goes missing. Her two friends and a group of strangers get stuck in a cabin in the woods. What do we like about this movie? For this film, they were trying to build tension by having this entity being reborn from this woman. And the best part in this film for building the tension is the score. I really enjoyed the music in this film. It had this retro style to it. It was a good callback to like classic horror films. The film was composed by Wojciech Golzuski, who also did We Are Still Here. So if you've seen that movie, and I hope you have, then you'll probably recognize the same kind of synthy vibes that it had. Going with that retro vibe, this is a classic. They're in the woods. They're in an abandoned house of sorts, and they're being chased by a stalker that's trying to kill them. The killer is a woman who's possessed, and they're trying to perform a ritual. And I think what this movie was good at was kind of playing with the humor and subverting our expectations of what was going to happen, that you had kind of a fresh take on the whole in the woods satanic thing. So that was definitely a job well done that I thought. And without spoiling too much, there is some pretty solid gore in this film. So the practical effects team did a great job. The blood looked realistic. There's lots of it. And there's some pretty disturbing scenes closer to the end of the film. What didn't we like about this movie? Generally, I enjoy movies that don't spell out the entire plot, but it's something that allows the audience to kind of figure things out without having crazy exposition just thrown in your face. However, this is kind of on the far extreme end of the scale when it comes to story development because you don't really know what's happening, you don't know the motives of this nude woman that's stalking our main cast, and you don't get any closure for any of the events that happen in this film. There are hints and clues perhaps to what is going on or what's happening, and maybe after you watch it a second time, you might pick up on them. But if I don't understand what's going on the first go round, I'm not going back to the movie. It's not an easily digestible movie. We have Francis, who's the father. He wants his wife to be reborn. But on the other end, you have Felicity, and her motives are, you don't know what her motives are because she keeps flipping the coin. You don't know what side she's on. You don't know why she's doing what she's doing because there's no reason for her to help or prevent any of this from happening. One of the biggest turnoffs of this film are the characters and the actors themselves, to be honest. I really, really disliked two of our main protagonists. So you're like like a real mailman. Yeah. That like takes mail and then puts it in the box and then drives away in the truck. Yeah, basically. I don't know that they were supposed to be as douchey as they actually came across, but their acting wasn't strong and their humor was really fucking awkward. Penis! Something that really threw me off was the mailman took a nap. The whole reason the mailman comes into this whole situation is because he's delivering mail to the cabin. The person's not home, so he creeps around the back of the cabin and gets into a hammock and just goes to sleep. And then all of a sudden it was critical because they needed his blood. So it's just like, if he wasn't tuckered out, where's this movie going? What about everybody else on his route? <laughs> He's yeah. like, I've been waiting for my Amazon package all day, but this fucking asshole is taking a three hour nap. Well, in fairness, that was his last one. And then he was gonna go get high. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And he left his friend all alone, like, to jerk off in the woods by himself. Was he a good guy? I don't know. He just fucking started jerking off. <laughs> no one no one in this movie was a good guy. Like, no one was someone who you could, like, hope to walk away at the end of this movie. It's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Overall, I didn't particularly enjoy this movie, though I think it did have some redeeming qualities. The pluses were that it didn't spoon feed you information. However, it didn't give you any. The effects were pretty nice. I think it had the potential to be a pretty interesting story if there was a little more explanation. It was shot decently. I think overall, it doesn't look like a cheap indie film. I think there's going to be a fan base for this out there. While it wasn't necessarily the best movie for me, I still think people will enjoy it. So I'm gonna give it two 
Weird force fields around the cabin out of five. I wasn't really a fan of this film. I didn't connect with any of the characters, and I thought that the story just kind of was empty. There was very little information to work with, and I really didn't care because I didn't care about the characters. The production value was really solid. I did like the score, and the practical effects were nice, but this one was not for me. So I'm gonna give this one Friday 7 homage out of five. Tonight She Comes was a film that took a lot of risks. They went out there and tried to do something different with a satanic movie. Visually it looked nice and it sounded really good. I absolutely love the score and I think a lot of people will find appreciation in this movie. The issue is there's way too much left out there for you to try and figure out. And if you have to watch this movie multiple times just to get what they're trying to get across, then it's not an enjoyable experience. And then when you want to revisit it, it's because you enjoyed it so much, not because you're trying to figure out what you missed. The characters, they weren't developed, they weren't likable, and you couldn't get behind them. And with that being said, I'm gonna give this 0.5 tampon juices out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below if you've seen the film and what your favorite ritual movie is. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.